So over here, you can see that I have a bunch of tasks right here. And let's say what I want to do is I want to add in a column where um, tax of the different actual costs gets calculated. So let's say uh, there's a tax percent of 10% for all of the costs that we have right here, and we want to calculate that. So to do that, I'm going to go around onto the project tab and then add in custom field. And over here, I'm going to go around onto task field itself and then select out, let's say, for example, cost right here. So once I do that, I'm going to, let's say, take cost two right here and rename it to tax right here, just like this and press OK. Once I do that, I'm going to choose formula right here which overrides the previous data if there are any, and that is why you get the warning. And then if I were to go around onto formula, now I can go around and get the actual cost. I'm just going to go around and insert out the uh, actual cost right here. So I'm going to go around onto fuel and select out actual cost, press OK, press OK right here as well. And OK, then what happens is that I can go around and choose that. So let me just go around and type in tax, and this is what I have. So right now, what is happening is that it, it is taking the exact detail over here. It's not taking the total cost, as you can see, but the individual cost right here. That is what it takes reference of. And we want to get the 10% of it. So now to do that, I'm going to go around over here onto custom field again and add in the formula now. So over here, if I were to go around onto tax, I'm going to go to formula and then I'm going to, let's say, for example, multiply this right here by 10% percent right here just like this because that is the amount of tasks. Once I do that and press OK, you can see that it does not actually take in the percentage. So let me just go around and uh, add in a decimal value like 0 0.1 right here and press OK. So once I do that, you can see that the uh, calculations now change right here for the main task. You can see that this is what you have. So this is a 30 uh, dollar tax right here. And let's say I want to go around and add in another column right here, which adds up the actual cost and tax itself. So in that case, I'm going to go around, add in a custom field, and then go for the uh, third cost column right here, and then go to formula over here as well. Press OK and go to formula. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert out, uh, let's say, uh, the actual cost right here. Then what I want is I want this right here, just like this. So uh, I added it in the cost itself. And here uh, you can see that I got custom cost and taxes here. So now what I'm going to do is add in a plus over here. So because I want to add both of them and press OK. So once I do that, I'm going to press OK. And for cost three, I'm going to rename it out as total uh, cost right here, just like this and press OK and OK. And over here, if I were to go around and type in total cost, then you'll be able to see this as you can see. So 300 plus 30 is 330 and you get the total cost over here. And that is how you can add in basic formula in custom field inside of Microsoft project. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.